right, let's run our test, see what we get. All right, so 550 meg download, 35 meg upload, and a 29 millisecond ping on the MacBook Air next to the Nest Wi-Fi Pro router. Last time we got a 427 meg. You may have saw the last video where we set up the new Nest Wi-Fi Pro. Now today's video, I'm gonna do a bunch of comparison tests. So we're gonna first run, we're gonna do one test from this Windows 10 desktop, which is wired to this switch that's then plugged into the main Nest Wi-Fi Pro. I'll then do a speed test from the iMac, as well as a test from the M2 MacBook Air, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and the Pixel 6 Pro. Then we'll travel through the house to crazy two giant Mel Mondays we just recorded to our living room where I have my second Nest Wi-Fi Pro access point. Now this access point is hardwired back to that switch so it's not using the mesh system to talk it's using a wired backhaul. I'm gonna do two tests from here, one using the wired backhaul, and then we'll reboot the router, unplug the cable, and do another one using the mesh backhaul or the wireless backhaul to talk from here to the main Nest Wi-Fi Pro router in the office. And then lastly, we will uh, go out back here, <laughs> Halloween stuff. We'll go out back and try the speed from outside as well, just to kind of see what we get. So we're gonna start off with the old Nest Wi-Fi. Now I did not have a wireless access point. I had two Nest Wi-Fi routers that were wired together. So we're gonna do all those speed tests that I just showed you on the Nest Wi-Fi, and then we'll turn around and we'll do all those same speed tests with all those same devices on the new Nest Wi-Fi Pro. I'll of course give you a little breakdown showing you what's what. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's compare the Nest Wi-Fi to the Nest Wi-Fi Pro with a wired and wireless backhaul. All right, so let's run some speed test on the old, well, not really old, but the regular Nest Wi-Fi. So first we're going to run a speed test from this computer because it's wired and that'll kind of give us an idea of our internet speed. All right, so speedtest.net and let's see what we get. This is a wired Windows 10 computer so 892 almost a 38 upload with a 26 millisecond ping so now let's run a few other tests let's run a test from the iMac which as you can see is like six inches away from the main Nest Wi-Fi router that's plugged directly into the modem and let me add that nothing is running on these computers so I'm literally turning these on opening a browser and just running speed test so let's see what our download and upload is on the iMac wirelessly right next to the main router. We got a 29 millisecond ping, 462.39 download, 33.24 upload. So now we're gonna do another test right over here, right over, right over here. So first we're gonna try the new M2 MacBook Pro. Let's see what we get here. All right, and this is, as you can see, like, uh, I don't know, 10 feet across the room, give or take. So the MacBook got a 459.34 download with 35.57 upload and a 27 millisecond pink. All right, so now we're gonna do the same test from an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let's see what it gets. So we got 443 download, 35.8 upload with a 28 millisecond ping on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, you know, 10 feet away from the router. Now we're gonna try my Pixel 6 Pro. So let's see what the Pixel 6 Pro gets approximately 10 feet away. So the Pixel 6 Pro got a 406 meg download and a 35.1 meg upload with a 26 millisecond ping. All right, so now I'm gonna take all of these devices, both of the phones and the MacBook, and we're gonna go in the living room and try these same speed tests because in the living room, this Nest router is actually hardwired to the switch in the back. So we should get good speeds, even though we're like all the way, you know, like all the way at the end of the hall on the left is where the office is. So let's see what we get in the living room, running off the secondary access point that is hardwired. I'm also gonna do a test without it being hardwired. So the M2 MacBook in the living room had a 427 download, 30 upload with a 29 millisecond ping. All right, now let's try the iPhone 12 Pro Max in the same location with the Nest router 
hardwired right behind it. So the iPhone 12 Pro Max got a 30 millisecond ping, 444 megabytes download, and 35.5 megabytes upload. Now we're gonna try the Pixel 6 Pro on the wired Nest Wi-Fi router. Let's see what speeds we get. So the Pixel 6 Pro gets a 429 meg download, 35.6 meg upload, and 27 millisecond ping. And so now I have one more spot we're gonna test, which is actually right in our backyard where, we, where we'll be putting a deck soon. We're gonna see what kind of speeds we get out here. So I have no clue which router I'm technically on. I'm gonna hope the one in the living room, which is actually, we go back inside. It's just on the other side of everything from El Mondays, you know, right over there. So let's see what the M2 MacBook gets outside. All right, so we have a 316 meg download, 30 meg upload with 28 millisecond ping. Let's try the iPhone 12 Pro Max in the same location. So the worst results so far, 51 meg download, 20 meg upload with 33 millisecond ping from outside. And then let's try the same test from the Pixel 6 Pro. All right, so the Pixel 6 Pro, even worse, 28.9 meg download, 27.2 meg upload, and 27 millisecond ping on the old Nest Wi-Fi routers from outside. And so now we're gonna go do one more test inside. We're gonna come over here and I'm gonna unplug the router and unplug that network cable so this talks wirelessly to the router in the back room. There we go. Now we'll plug it back in and let it reconnect wirelessly. It does all that automatic, of course. So we're gonna give this a minute to boot up and then we're gonna come back in here and from the same spot, do the same test with that on wireless. All right, so the Nest Wi-Fi router is running completely off wireless, I'm talking wirelessly from here all the way to my back room. So let's try it on the MacBook and see what kind of speed test results we get. Let's go. And so as you can see, massive difference. The ping and the upload are essentially the same, but only a 16 meg download with this wirelessly connected to that and that wirelessly connected to the back room. This is why a wired backbone is so important with these types of mesh networks. Let's try the iPhone 12 Pro Max on the same location with it all wireless. And I must say, I'm pretty shocked to see that the 12 Pro Max got a better speed than the M2 MacBook Air. 189 meg download, 34.8 meg upload, and a 31 millisecond pink. Let's try the, Pi the Pixel 6 Pro in the same location. And the Pixel 6 Pro got 179 meg download, 35.1 meg upload, and 37 millisecond pink. So now I'm gonna set up my new Nest Wi-Fi Pro, and then we're gonna see what kind of speed tests we get from the exact same locations with the exact same devices. Let's go do it. So now we're on the Nest Wi-Fi Pro. We're gonna do a wired test again, so we kind of know our standard. 917 meg download, 38 meg upload with a 23 millisecond ping. Now let's try the iMac. All right, so the iMac, which is, you know, six inches away from the Nest Wi-Fi Pro, speed test results are, so on the iMac, just a few inches away is 741 meg download, 31 meg upload with a 31 millisecond ping, which compared to last time is almost double. Last time it was 462 megs with a 33 meg upload, which, you know, upload's not necessarily as important. That is a big improvement. All right, so now we're on the M2 MacBook Air, which is, you know, like, uh, you know, 10 feet away. Let's see what we get. All right, so this time the M2 MacBook Air got a 686 meg download, 30 meg upload with a 29 millisecond ping, compared to last time it had a 459 meg download, 35 meg upload, and eh, 27 millisecond ping. Still much better download speeds with the M2 MacBook Air. Now we're going to try the iPhone 12 Pro Max in the same location, the 10 feet away from the main router. So the iPhone 12 Pro Max got 567 meg download with a 33 meg upload and 27 millisecond ping. Compared to the old one, it was 443 meg download and 35 meg upload and 28 millisecond ping. Still improvement. All right, now we're gonna try the Pixel 6 Pro in the same location, see what it gets. So the Pixel 6 Pro got 598 megs download, 36.5 meg upload with a 39 millisecond ping. Compared to the last time in the same location, it only got a 406 meg download with a 35 
meg upload and a 26 millisecond ping, which the ping's always gonna just depend on how many people are hitting the server and stuff like that. So we have tested all three of these devices, you know, 10 feet away. So now we're gonna take these into the living room and try it on the wired access point with the wired backhaul. And then li and later on, we'll try it with the wireless backhaul. Let's go in the living room. So that's my second Nest Wi-Fi Pro access point, which is hardwired to the switch in my office. That's then plugged into the main Nest Wi-Fi access point that's plugged into the modem. So let's try the M2 MacBook Air from in here. We should get essentially the same speeds that we got before in the other office. All right, let's run our test, see what we get. All right, so 550 meg download, 35 meg upload, and a 29 millisecond ping on the MacBook Air next to the Nest Wi-Fi Pro router. Last time we got a 427 meg download, 30 meg upload, and 29 millisecond ping. So definitely a difference. And to show you here, you can see the Nest Wi-Fi Pro in the living room placement has a connection type of wired. So it's not using the Wi-Fi to talk to the main router, it's using the cable. Now, let's try the iPhone. All right, the iPhone 12 Pro Max, let's see what it does here. So on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, we got a 658 meg download, 32 meg upload, and 31 millisecond ping. Four, it was 444 meg download, 35 meg upload, and 30 millisecond ping. Still seeing massive improvements. Now let's do the Pixel 6 Pro in the same location. So the Pixel 6 Pro got a 439 meg download, 35 meg upload, and 31 millisecond ping. While last time on the old Nest Wi-Fi, we got a 429 meg download, 35 meg upload, and 27 millisecond ping. So shockingly, not a big difference there. All right, so now we're going to take the three devices, past all of our Mail Monday stuff from yesterday, and out to our back deck that we'll soon make to test the Wi-Fi out there. And if I haven't mentioned, I've been actually turning off the Wi-Fi each time. That way, wherever I move to, it connects to the closest access point that should give it the best speed. So I did this on the phones as well. So we'll turn it back on. It'll instantly connect back to our Wi-Fi, and then we'll open up Chrome and run a speed test. So let's see what we get from outside with the Nest Wi-Fi Pro. So outside, through all the walls and stuff, 219 meg download, 27 meg upload, and a 30 millisecond ping. Wow, it was higher. Interesting, this is the first test result that's been different. We had 316 megs last time, 30 meg upload, 28 millisecond ping. That's, that's very interesting. Let's try the iPhone now. So iPhone 12 Pro Max, let's run it and see what we get. All right, so a 78 meg download, 30 meg upload, and 29 millisecond ping. And last time we had a 51 meg download, 20 meg upload, and 35 millisecond ping. So an improvement with the iPhone. One caveat though is like this one, uh, let's see, detailed results. Where was this one running to? Yeah, see this one was running to Sugar Hill, Georgia. This one was running to Atlanta. So from out here, we really don't know whether it connects to the living room Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi in the main office. And also each time it could be grabbing a new server that may be faster or slower. So. These are, you know, trying to be as accurate as possible, but we're definitely seeing an improvement with the Nest Wi-Fi Pro versus the old Nest Wi-Fi. Now, let's try the last one out here, the Pixel 6 Pro, and let's see what results we get here. So on the Pixel 6 Pro, we got a 63.5 meg download, 31 meg upload, 33 millisecond ping. Compared to last time, we had a 28 meg download, 27 meg upload, and 27 millisecond ping. So an improvement as well on the Pixel 6 Pro out here. So now let's go back inside. All right, so now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna unplug the network cable and restart the device, and then we'll let it reconnect wirelessly. Once it's connected wirelessly, I'll show you that in my phone, and then we're gonna run the same speed test again. All right, it's plugged back in. It is booting. We'll give it a minute to boot. We'll let it connect wirelessly to the main router in the back, and then from the same location, We'll try the same three tests again using the wireless backhaul on the Nest Wi-Fi Pro. All right, so it's turned white, and you can see now here in my device settings, the living room placed router says connection type mesh. That means that it's using the wireless connection from here to connect all the way in the back at the office instead of the cable since it's unplugged. So now let's run some tests. Just like before, close out of Chrome and turn our Wi-Fi off to make sure we reconnect to this wireless router.
All right, turn our Wi-Fi back on, let it reconnect, and let's open back up Chrome and, and run us a speed test with the wireless backhaul or mesh backhaul to see what happens. All right, so that is a big difference on the wireless backhaul. 377 meg download, 33 meg upload, 91 millisecond ping. And if you compare that to the numbers before, we had a 16 meg download, 38 meg upload, 31 millisecond ping. But if you compare the wireless backhaul to the wired backhaul, the M2 MacBook Air was 427 megs compared to 377 megs. So definitely a difference there, but that's basically got to talk from here to there, from there wirelessly to the back, and then go through everything else to actually ping the server. Now let's try the iPhone 12 Pro Max. All right, iPhone 12 Pro Max on wireless to wireless to wireless. Let's see what we get. So the iPhone 12 Pro Max got a 414 meg download, 34.9 meg upload, and a 28 millisecond ping compared to with the old Nest Wi-Fi, it had 189 meg download, 34 meg upload, and 31 millisecond ping. So almost twice the download, even on the Wi-Fi backhaul with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Very interesting. Now let's try the Pixel 6 Pro and see what we get with the mesh backhaul on the Pixel 6 Pro. So the Pixel 6 Pro ended up with a 266 meg download, 35 meg upload, 28 millisecond ping, which compared to last time on the Nest Wi-Fi was 179 meg download, 35 meg upload, and 37 millisecond ping. So definitely, from what I can tell, improvements across the board. So there you have it. That is my findings. Now I must say, I, I truly expected this already. Last year I'd made a video comparing Wi-Fi 6 to the old Nest Wi-Fi and truly saw a big difference in the speeds. So I'm not surprised to see that these devices are faster on this new Wi-Fi 6E mesh network. Of course, I would still highly, highly recommend, if you're able to, of course, to have a wired backhaul to your second devices. It just makes it much, much faster than it going through hops on Wi-Fi. Now, some have wondered if you can separate the bands. You cannot separate the bands, but that necessarily doesn't matter. If you have, for example, this little camera that's right up here, it only works on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, but because the device will only connect to 2.4 gigahertz, it doesn't matter that the five gigahertz and the six gigahertz are the same SSID and password. Basically, that device will only connect to the 2.4 because that's all it supports. Now, for example, my M2 MacBook Air supports all three bands. So it'll connect to the Wi-Fi 6 if that's close because it doesn't have as much range. Same for the five gigahertz. And if it's far away, it'll use the 2.4 gigahertz. Hi, buddy. So essentially from my findings, there's a huge difference and really a big upgrade. For somebody who's streaming devices, gaming, or if you're both working from home and wanna have a really smooth wireless connection, I would highly recommend this mesh setup. If you already have cabling in your house or can run cabling in your house, I would definitely highly recommend these as well. And even if you can't, they still can talk wirelessly. You'll just of course have slightly slower speeds as you saw from my findings. For example, on the Wi-Fi backhaul or mesh backhaul. It was about half the speed that I got on the wired backhaul from this location in the living room. So in the end, I think it was really a good choice for me to upgrade these. I love having the fastest of fast. Wi-Fi 6E is not even a year old, I don't think. So these routers will last me a while. Shouldn't need to buy any new routers for a while. And of course, Google shouldn't have any new routers to come out with. That'll do it for today's video though. If you have any questions, of course, leave them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those as quick as I can. And if you can, click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.